In the absence of agreement, the loss of goods in consignee go-down is borne by A. Consigner B. Consignee C. Both consigner and consignee D. Insurance company In the absence of agreement, loss of goods in consignee go-down The loss of goods in consignee go-down is to be borne by the consigner. Once the goods, when goods are consigned, the goods continue to belong to the consigner. Ownership is not transferred. Only physically goods have been transferred. So any loss is supposed to be borne by the consigner. Correct answer is A. <clears throat> Yogam consigned cost of goods rupees 1 lakh at an invoice price of 20% above cost. Consignee is entitled to 5% commission on sales up to invoice price. 20% on sales which exceeds invoice price. 2% Dell Credit Commission on credit sales. He sold 25% of the goods for cash for 40,000 and 50% of the goods on credit for rupees 70,000. 10% of the goods are taken by the consignee. Calculate commission. A. 10,500. B. 9,900. C. 10,200. And D. None. <clears throat> so here... <coughs> Consignee is entitled to a commission of 5% on sales up to invoice price, 20% on sales if it exceeds invoice price and 2% Dell Credit Commission on credit sales. So let us see if you take the cost price, he sold 25% of the goods, that's 25,000 for 40,000. What is the invoice price of these goods if we ask? It was into price of 20% above cost. So 25,000 plus 20% will give us... 30,000. Similarly, next 50,000 was sold. 50% 50 was sold on. This is credit sales. How much was this? This was sold for 70,000. For 70,000. Invoice price would be 50,000 plus 20%. That would be 60,000. Besides this, 10% of the goods are taken by the consignee. So it's like a sale to himself. The consigner is selling to the consignee. That also would be sales. 10% would be 10,000. 10,000, 10% goods are taken by the consignee. Should be taken at 12,000. Assumed to be taken at 12,000 because they are invoiced at 20% above cost. <clears throat> so invoice price and selling price is the same here. <clears throat> Here I don't need this for computation of commission. What is the commission? Commission is 5% commission on sales up to invoice price. What is the sales up to invoice price is invoice price. Okay, I'll write this as 12,090 plus 12,000 totally 1,12,000. 1,12,000 is the ordinary commission. 1,12,000, Next you have, that is 5,600. Next you have 2% Dell Credit Commission on, no, before 2% Dell Credit Commission, you have 20% on Sales which exceeds the invoice price. 20% of sales which increase, which exceeds the invoice price. <clears throat> that is 70 plus 40, 1 lakh 10. And this was 90. That should actually be 20,000. Or if you take... one lakh twenty-two thousand. Five percent of one lakh two thousand. Five percent of one lakh two thousand is five thousand one hundred, mind you. Twenty percent of twenty thousand is four thousand, and two percent on credit sales of seventy thousand is one thousand four hundred. This should give us five thousand four hundred ten thousand 
500. The cost of sales is 25,000 cash, 50,000 credit and 10,000 by consignee. Correct? These are the cost of the goods sold. Selling price, this was sold for 40, this was sold for 70, this must have been sold at the invoice price of 12,000. What is the invoice price? Invoice price is cost plus 20%. So 25,000 became 30, 50,000 became 60 and 10,000 became 12,000. What is the total sales that we made is 1,22,000 but the invoice price was only 1,2,000 is only 1,2,000. <clears throat> So the extra price, extra selling price above invoice price here is 20,000, 20,000. 20% 20, of 20,000 is your overriding commission. 5% of invoice price sales, 5,100 is our ordinary commission. And the Dell credit commission was 2% of credit sales, specifically mentioned here on credit sales was 1,400. Correct answer should be A. 10,500. 5,000 meters of cloth was sent out on consignment basis at an invoice price of 30 per meter which were purchased by consigner at per price of rupees 20 per meter. Consigner's expenses 5,500. Consignee's expenses 2,000. Consignee sold 4,000 meters at 40 per meter gets a commission of 5% on total sales and a further 20% of surplus realized above invoice price. Because of a fall in the market price, the inventory of cloth is to be reduced by 10%. What is the profit on consignment? A. 54,500 B. 63,500 C. 56,400 and D. 55,490 so preparing a consignment account, what would we get? We would get to goods sent on consignment. We've got 5,000 meters into 20, that's 1 lakh. Consigner expenses were 5,500. Consignee expenses again were 2,000. Sales was consignee again sales. Sales was how much? Consignee sold 4,000 meters. For 40, that's 1 lakh 60,000. He's entitled to a commission of 5% on sales. So, what is the commission? 5% of 1 lakh 60,000, that's equal to 8,000. And he's also entitled to a 20% of any surplus realized above the invoice price. So, what is the invoice price? For 4,000 into 30 is the invoice price, 30 per meter is the invoice price. So, that is 1 lakh 20,000. 120 invoice price, 160 is the sale price. The difference is 40,000. 20% 20 of 40,000 is also his commission. That is again another 8,000. So that's over entitled to a commission, total sales of 20%. Due to a fall in the market price, the inventory of cloth is to be reduced by 10%. So what is the inventory of cloth we have? We have 1,000 uh, meters of cloth. What is the total uh, cost of the meters? 1 lakh plus consigner purchase cost plus consigner expense so 1 lakh 5500 is the cost of 5000 meters what is the cost of 1000 meters should be twenty one thousand one hundred. but this has to be reduced by 10% so 21100 less 10% is equal to 18990. What is this? Inventory, closing stock, stock on consignment, stock on consignment 18990. Now if we do the computation to find out the profit or loss on consignment, we get <clears throat> the total is 178990. Minus one lakh five thousand five hundred minus fifty five thousand four ninety. Therefore, the correct answer is D fifty five thousand four ninety. Fifty five thousand four ninety.